Welcome to Lifestyle After 5 9 to 5 series. Today we plan to take you on a journey to the best version of you. I plan to transform myself within the next six months and we plan to share it all with you. Lord Shu, you plan on joining me in this journey? Yeah, bro. I mean, if if I'm being for real with all the listeners and, and people watching right now, um, this is about to be an experience. We have essentially put together a series for y'all that is going to take you into the inner, the innermost sanctum of what we're doing. You get to see us doing everything that we we've been putting together as, as well as watching us transform, obviously. But I'm going to just give y'all some stats first so you'll understand where we're coming from. So did you know that a staggering 75 percent of people feel stuck in their current lives? Wow, I mean, that's I was at that point, bro. Yeah, exactly. I so been. they feel like they're going through the motions, living a life that's truly not their own. And then on top of that, they pretty much feel like they sound crazy. But if you just yeah. follow what I got going right now, I could tell you that you can completely transform your life in just six months. Probably sooner. Yeah. To me, I feel like even faster. But people don't realize reinventing yourself is not just something superficial that you do. Right. It's not just ima- just imagine like it, it seems like it takes a lot. But, you know, I once heard a story, a pastor once said the thing that makes a, a engineer an engineer, a doctor, a doctor in every professional that you know of right now and can imagine is the books they read and practice. Yeah, that's yep. it. That's the only thing a doctor, they they go to school for eight years reading books and researching, and then they practice. That's why they call it a medical practice. Once you discover your <laughs> passion that you have for life, I challenge you to go get the necessary materials to get more in depth into your talent, your skill set, and yeah. practice it. That's how you become a master. They say 10 years of something, consistent yep. practice. Got to be consistent. Make master got to be consistent exactly. and you'll be amazed of what can happen into your life hell within the first 30 days if you read the right books and even if uh if you don't have the books youtube you youtube got a lot of online books watching videos but put yourself into your skill set into your craft and put the necessary practice in you right because i mean who who hasn't been in this position before where they felt like yo why why is my life not looking like what's in my mind but they're not really sure how to piece it together and like you said just tapping into the resources that are are out there which is why we putting this series together we want to be a resource for y'all and we want to give you a, a insider look and in how to do that how to go about it so you're not feeling like you're doing it alone absolutely and now we won't solve it all into this video. This is just an introduction yeah, yeah. to a series as we go over this journey in six months. But you got to take the first step and we want you to take this first, the first steps with us. We want you to go on this journey with us. I don't know why so many people are afraid to just get out there and try. We know right. that you got anxiety. You can't be afraid to fail. You know, it's kind of like when you're driving at night and it's on a very dark road. You can only see so far ahead of you, but you have to trust the road that the more yeah, of the road yeah. is going to unfold, the more that you keep driving and you start to see more. And eventually you'll reach your destination. We're going to try to put that road map together for you. Yep. So he, he already told you the obstacle. You already see this is what you up against. So now basically we're just going to list out how we're going to go about this, what things that we're going to do. In each episode, this series is going to be very informative. So um, I suggest all all the people watching or if you're listening right now to engage, engage with the, the comment section and um, use this as like a, a educational tool. And we're your official coaches. You know, we're your private coaches. I know this is on YouTube or wherever you may be seeing this, but um, this is an interactive experience that we're putting together to reach out to those people that really are up against those obstacles and don't really have a, a, 
like a group, like how me and Ali have. We we have a team. Me and him are a team, and we're working together. So we want to show you that dynamic, but also bring you into our team. You know, we like unofficial family through YouTube now or wherever you're watching this at. Again, it's not a overnight fix. This is a process, a journey. That's what growth is about. Growth takes time. It's, you know, if you yeah. just start taking the steps that we tell you to take, I challenge you right now to just sit down. Let's figure out what your passion is. What are you passionate about? What do you find yourself doing that you do if nobody paid you to do it? You do you, you do it for free. What do you love? Is it your job? It could be your job. Your, you, you could be one of the very few lucky ones that have a career yeah. that you're passionate about and you really like your career. You go home, you think about it, you wake up thinking about it, and you can't wait to get there. But if you're not one of those that... <laughs> Like the most of us, think about what you are passionate about. I, I had to come to that realization. I was in a career and I'm like, I'm just not passionate about it. So I had to turn around after years and figure out how can I navigate into something else? And what am I passionate? I had to figure out that even now, what am I passionate about? Because I, was, I came to the realization I was getting being burnt out. It's, it was if I had to force myself to do work. I didn't like getting up. I was Drink get when I got there, all I thought about was the weekend, and then it was like, oh, I dreaded going. And like your 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 labor, your job, is something that you want to be. It, it should be something that you love, something that you want to do, or you need to be working towards get getting to that point. And this is what we aim to do yep. in these series. And it's possible, y'all. I've seen it happen in my own life, and especially with Ali, because Ali to me. To me, he's like a mentor. So I try to, I'm not going to say completely copy him, but I, I do try to emulate myself and the things that he does. Because even though like I consider him like a really, he's my cousin. But to me, he's like the, really the only best friend I, I have that I can be on the same level with. So I try to emulate myself with him, so, you know, that he's my senior and I, I respect him. So it's possible. But this man has like you said he's changed who he was to find himself and his passions and it's this is possible you can do it and even in my own life i started out working in uh the food industry career and i really seen myself getting really far in that um for many years i was i was putting my heart and soul into that and one day i went through similar things that he did he going through burnout and Looking forward to the weekend, and then you the weekend comes, you just drink yourself into a stupor, and then the week comes, you like, uh, it's like a, a cycle, and you just get trapped in it. But that's why we're sharing our experiences so that y'all can see it's possible. This is possible, and I appreciate that compliment. And you know what they say: you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be exactly. great. Exactly. Perfect quote. I really, I really like that quote. It's not about the perfect moment. The moment never will be perfect. You won't always, you, I, I can almost guarantee you, you won't have all the resources at first. Things You're going to make mistakes. Yeah. It won't be a perfect journey, even with this podcast. It's, it's been an evolu uh, evolution. You know, you, people start off shooting with their phones. You know, if you're waiting for production quality and you're waiting for everything to be perfect, you'll miss the opportunity. You'll either be too old or you'll die before you ever get there. Yep. You know, if you go back and look at Michael Jordan, he wasn't great in junior high. That came with getting on the team, making the team practice and getting better. And that's what anything that you do. So let's start taking these steps forward. And like I said, the first step is find your passion. Let's figure out what you are passionate about and what you want to do in, with your life. And in general, what, what, what's the thing that makes you click? And if you have a problem, this, and you don't have to do this alone, phone a friend, a family member, ask them, what do you see me at? When you see me, what do you think about me? What do you think is my passion? What do you think I enjoy doing? And yeah. let's bring someone. You know, we, have that, to, we might have to get into some mind mapping here later. Right. <laughs> yeah. that You know, it's crazy. That's exactly what I did. So just going through a, a state of self-assessment, but reaching out to people actually was how I started uh, making clear goals. So that's going to be the next step. So after you done did your self-assessment, 
you start creating specific goals after that. Like, okay, well, I know people say I'm good at music. So that's that's how it started with me. So people were like, shoot, you should make music and you should make clothes. These are the two things that you are really good at and you should focus on. So I jumped off, I jumped off the cliff. I never ran a fashion business before, never even thought about actually doing that. But I had a mentor that told me, hey, you fire at music. You pretty much can do music with your eyes closed. You should get into fashion and really dive as deep as you can into it. So I started making goals. I started uh, buying equipment. I bought everything I needed to learn basic stitching, to learn how to create a tech pack. I bought books, resources that matters in what you're doing, you know, uh, just breaking down goals into smaller steps. So now I got these books. I know I can start creating different patterns or, you know, whatever. Just simplify. I actually had to tell someone this today. Slow down and simplify. You know, when you get your mind racing because you get excited, you got to slow down and simplify and try to break down the goals really small. And then after that, you can start to implement new habits to support these goals. Um, If I'm a fashion designer, I need to be making clothes every day. Or I need to be studying what the trends are every day. You know, the things that matter towards what you're doing, you got to start creating these habits so that every day you wake up, you're not getting lost in all the illusions of everything going on around you or listening to people's negative comments. Like, you know, there's a billion people making clothes, man. This not going to work out. You should get a job. You know, when you got those goals and you start creating those habits, what those people are saying will not matter straight up. Well, I, and I'm glad that you brought up goals because make sure that your goals are specific and measurable. Mm-hmm. Don't come up saying, you know, next week I want to be a millionaire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> saying, How are you going to get there? Show me your step plans to get there. Mm-hmm. If you got that, I would like to see it. Make sure you, you it's a step, a, a stair step. You know, if, if you want to lose weight, the first thing you got to do is figure out a way to start meal prepping and cut your calories. <laughs> right. You got to cut calories. Then you got to figure out when you're going to work out. Then you actually got to get there and start working out. And then as mm-hmm. you get stronger, you're going to have to adjust your diet and you're going to have to adjust your training regimen. Same thing true with money. If you want more money, you got to figure out a way to either, if you can work overtime, get a second job, find a way to pay down some debt, stop wasting money. You have to tighten your budget up first and learn how to manage what you have. And that's the same thing with your life. You got to manage the resources in the life you have right now. No matter what situation you are in, you, whether you are homeless, be going through bad relationship, don't like your job, what, whatever your circumstance right now, <laughs> yeah. anxiety, whatever it is, this is all you got right now. Overnight, no one's going to click with a magic wand that I know of. It's going to come through <laughs> with, a, with a magic wand and change that situation. So first, you got to put a plan together to get out of whatever you in. And as you get it, start to make small steps and get out of that. And you got to overcome this and overcome that and get over the terminal step by step plan to get yourself to to better. Many people have done it. I think Tyler Perry was was homeless, living in his car. Now look at him. He's a billionaire. But it didn't just happen by luck. You don't get successful by luck. Luck happens every so often. It's like winning the lottery, but most lottery winners within five years lose it all back again. Yep. Because they, they're not monitoring. <laughs> yeah, because success is a series of wins, of hard preparation, work, wins, and getting better. It does not happen by accident. You don't get abs, a six pack of abs, and look good by just by genetics and body. If you eat enough fry, I don't care what your genetics are. You eat enough fried chicken and pizza and junk and donuts and everything, and you won't have a six pack. Yep. Real talk. That's why it's important to monitor your progress because I've seen people too where they'll be working out, go to the gym, but they still look the same. They ain't getting bigger or they gaining more weight or they not, you know, they, they're not completing the goals that they, they set out. You got to monitor your progress and be flexible, you know, check in with yourself. If it's not working, then you got to 
Don't be scared to adjust your plan. It, you just never know because everything is uh, – there's so many variables when it comes to uh, being an entrepreneur or even j- just having a career. There's so many different variables. So you got to remember, it's a journey. It's okay to make change along the way. And the key is just really to stay committed to what you what you put in place, keeping those good habits and keep moving forward. You know, don't look back unless you're trying to learn from your mistakes of the past. You are the average of the people, five to six people you hang around with. So surround yourself around positive people and people that are reached that are aiming for goals of their own and have reached their goals and those that share the same goals that you share, that what you have in common. Stay around positive, supportive people. You don't have time for the latest gossip. You got a mission and a life to build. You don't have time to be finding that, you know, dealing with the latest mess or the latest TV show, you are on a mission. You can do those things once you complete the mission. Watch your network. Build your network of positive people. This is why we do this show. It's not what you know, but who you know. Yep, network is in everything, especially when you just, uh, you get into that point where, okay, all the goals, everything's coming together. You've seen the culmination of all your progress, and you can really sit back and actually celebrate. Um, me and Ali, when when we were in the same city on the weekends, like we we were putting in work. We always putting in work doing this podcast. The research that comes into this and just business in general, it, it really is. It means more, and it, the celebrations mean more when I can do it with Ali. When I can do it with my brother, it's like it means more because it's like we've been putting in all this work. And we get together and we just enjoying ourselves. We happy and we realizing like, yo, this is this is right. This feels right. We in flow. This is what we should be doing. So just get with people like like Ali said, so that you can celebrate and really feel those victories because you got those same people that's like minded with you. They're going to keep you motivated and reinforce reinforce what you committed to. So those those people with you. It's really gonna make everything increased. You'll you'll want to do it even more. It'll be like sometimes I have a hard time sleeping because I'm just so ready to like get back in the lab and get back to work. Well, final takeaways that I want you to take away from this video is you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. Believe into you, believe in yourself. Put the necessary steps. Take the necessary steps it takes to achieve it. Hang around the right positive people and monitor your success. You know, set a goal every week. You should have goals. You got to break your big goals down into smaller goals. And every week, you know, if you can only do five push-ups today, try 10 next week. Monitor your process and celebrate it. Do push-ups with somebody else. And believe in yourself and take action. You got to take action. It's a must. Yep. Life can be fulfilling. I mean, don't get don't get lost in the sauce. There's a lot of illusions around you, but uh, like I say in my book, Hybrid Manual, which you can get it on Amazon, I say that uh, focus is the number one solution to the number one problem in the world, which is distraction. Stay focused. I want to thank everybody for watching. If you're feeling inspired to make a change in your life, you can subscribe to this channel. And you can also scan this QR code on the screen to join our private Discord group where you can interact directly with me and Ali and the rest of the Lifestyle After Five team. Meet up with us. We want to see you. We want to have those conversations, those think tanks, the brainstorms. We doing that all there on Discord. So share your own reinvention goals and progress in the comment section below. We love to hear about them. So next time, y'all, that's all I got to say. You, you got anything else you got to say, Ali? No, nope, maybe we can all celebrate at the end. We can have one huge celebration somewhere at the end as everybody reaching their goals. You feel me? Stay Yacht positive. Party. <laughs> Stay positive, and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace, y'all.